Hi, this is Matt Klein, karate-kids.com.au. And unfortunately for myself, I broke my arm in a karate tournament a little over a month ago, and uh, I was kind of put a stop to my training. But I decided uh, I want to get back into it and get myself in, in decent shape while I'm healing. So I'm going to show you some drills you can do with one arm. Uh, it will help you for your thing, jiu-jitsu, or your martial arts. This is a yoga bridge pose. What this does, it really strengthens your core and your hips. If you want to get yourself up off the ground a bit higher, what you can do is you can prop your arm underneath your bottom and kind of push up a bit higher. Once you have it up there, you can kind of sit there for maybe 30 seconds or so and get a really good uh, hip extension workout here. Okay, we call this the bridge, uh, the bridge pose in yoga. To make it more challenging, what you can do is you can bring one leg straight up. And then you push yourself off the ground a bit higher and then hold that. And of course you can do the same thing with the other leg. Notice I'm not putting any weight on my arms at all, so this is a pretty good, pretty good exercise. It's called a uh, upa, which is uh, from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Put it on top here, you can throw them off by plucking up and coming up into your shoulder. You bring your arms across. Again, this arm is broken, so I have to be really careful not to put any weight on it. I pluck my shoulder, push the opposing side to the ground. Okay, that's your upa drill. These are um, hip escapes up and down the mat. Well, some people call them shrimp. So you up, 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 up onto your shoulder, up, 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 now. And I can go the other way, which is almost exactly the opposite. And this one's a little bit more difficult for most people. This one's called a, a circle shrimp. This is a wrestler sit out. Again, I can only use one arm, so I can only go to one side, but normally you do this to both sides. To make it more difficult, you bring your feet off the ground. You just kind of hold it like that. This is called a technical lift. If you get knocked down on the ground, the person standing above you, you protect yourself while you're on the ground against kicks or punches. When you get ready, come up on one arm, throw a kick, and get up. So again, you got yourself protected, come up on one arm, throw a kick, and get up fast. This is a hip bump. You can do this from inside the guard, you come up, and drive your hips up. You use this uh, to sweep your opponent. So again, you're in the closed guard, come up, drive your hips up into the armpit, come over, trap your arm. So this is really good for explosiveness in the hips and core. This is uh, normally a four points movement, but we're limited to only two points here. Normally you'd be on all fours. The two points, you can come underneath and back. Underneath and back, underneath, and back. That really strengthens your arms and also your core again. This one's called sitting thrust. So you have one leg underneath you. You're gonna come up. This one really works your hips. and your core. This one is actually a triangle choke drill. That's a good stretch. and also helps you get your legs in the right position for a triangle choke. And you can now incorporate this with a sit-up drill. This one is called uh, leg circles. So you bring your bottom off the ground and work your feet around in a circle and you try to go the other way. Works your core and get your legs mobilized for your uh, hips mobilized for your techniques. This is a bridge to 
Bridge to knees. There's two ways of doing this. You can go underneath this leg, or you come over top with this leg, and then back. Both of those, you can pretty much uh, achieve the same result. Conditioning, there's lots of conditioning you can do. You can do crunches, double crunches, opposing side crunches. And this one's probably the most difficult of all. Alternate leg touches. Russian twists. One arm plank, this is for your core. Suck your, you wanna really suck your gut in this one to protect your back. Or you can make it more difficult. One arm. And hold that for as long as you can. You can do a one arm push up. Brazil, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu crunches on the side. You can do a one arm burpee. Stretches. Hip flexor is a really good one. You drive your hips forward as much as you can. Hold it there for about 20 seconds or so. And swap over to the other side. For the guard setup, draw your weight back as far back as possible. So there's almost no gap here. Lean back further and further so there's almost no gap at all. And just sit there. That teaches you to keep a low guard, low center of gravity. The lower you can get down, the better. Really stretches out those muscles down there. Thank you.